Hello from Puerto Rico. This is Zach Hampel wrapping up a nine-day road trip and I think I've saved the most exciting destination for last, San Juan. Major League Baseball is playing a two-game series here, the Indians versus the Twins, and I am pumped. There's a party atmosphere here, really festive. I was at this stadium eight years ago for the Mets and Marlins. They played a regular season series. I wrote some blog entries about it then, but this is the first time that I'm doing videos here, so really glad to share that with you. Now, I've heard that there are gonna be commemorative baseballs used, so really hoping to snag one of those. The weather's been kind of sketchy down here, so hopefully it'll stay dry. And man, I just flew in from Tampa. You can see lots of people waiting online behind me to get in. I still have to get my tickets, so tomorrow when I'm back here, I'll show you more outside the stadium. But for right now, I want to get inside, so let's do it. This is not exactly what I had in mind when I planned this trip to Puerto Rico. What is going on right now? Oh, I am soaked. All right, I am inside the stadium, and two minutes before the gates opened, there was a seriously heavy downpour of rain. I got completely drenched. I forgot my umbrella at the hotel. People were scrambling for cover. The ground was completely muddy, just an absolute mess. And batting practice, as a result, is wiped out. So that's a huge disappointment. And now I'm going to have to try really hard to get a toss-up at some point today, maybe a foul ball or a home run during the game. This stadium is pretty interesting. It only holds about 18,000, so about half the size of basically the smallest major league stadium. It opened in 1963, and it's named after Hiram Bithorn, who was the first Puerto Rican player ever to play in Major League Baseball. Now, out here in the bleachers, it's just general admission seating. There is a wide gap between the outfield wall and the bleachers, so not every home run ball actually reaches the seats. Balls might drop down in there, so that could create some interesting opportunities either during the game or maybe tomorrow if the weather holds off and there is BP. One more thing for right now, I happen to have two tickets tonight. One out here in the bleachers and also one in foul territory. Actually, two and two because I have to be able to bring my videographer along. So I'm not sure if I can move back and forth, back and forth. I may just have to pick the right time and then transition over for good to foul territory, which I think I might actually do pretty soon. So just going to take it from there and we'll see. Okay, we have a change of plans. The tarp is coming off and all the screens and the batting cage has been set up. So there will be batting practice today. I cannot believe it. This is like a once a decade type of situation. When the tarp is out, there's no BP, but then they do actually set it up after fans are inside the stadium. So I see a bunch of Indians players on the field along the third base side, and I'm gonna get into position. This is really exciting. First pitch of the Puerto Rican series batting practice right there. The Indians are a very friendly team, and Armando Camacaro, one of their bullpen catchers, just hooked it up. Nice toss up from deep left field. You can see the baseball right here. It's just a regular ball with the MLB logo. So glad to be on the board, but I think it's gonna take getting a gamer to get one of those commemoratives. Thank you. All right, hey, yo, yo, yo. Want this? Baseball number four on the day right there. Finally caught one on the fly, so that felt good. I think that might have been Bradley Zimmer who hit that one, but I'm not sure. So there's all kinds of action up here in the bleachers. I love this walkway, but there's also a lot of action down below in the gap. Come here for a second. I have two friends down there. Mateo, wave to the camera. So that's Mateo, and well, I think we saw a shot of my friend Greg wiping out earlier trying to jump down off a ledge. He, he's gotten a few baseballs down there, and actually, look at this guy, it's Benny Bang Bang! Oh. <laughs> hey. 
You snooze, you lose. I was a little bit too late setting up the glove trick, but that's good for that kid that he got it. For as little batting practice as there was today, only seeing one team hit, it turned out to be a really fun time. And as soon as all the fans in the bleachers realized that BP was underway, they all stood up, headed down to the front, and flooded that cross aisle right up against that front rail. So it was really chaotic at the end. It was hard to move around, but I still did pretty well. I was judging the ball well, made a pretty smooth catch on my fourth ball of the day, a home run on the fly that I caught right over some guy's head, and I ended up with five. I'm not sure if my cameraman got a shot of the last one, but Carlos Carrasco, pitcher on the Indians, flipped one high into the air above the aisle. I jumped and caught it, and that was actually an Arizona spring training ball. And right now, I'm standing behind the center field wall, and if you want to follow me around this way, I want to show everyone what it looks like. You can see the batter's eye over there, and behind me you can see all these puddles. It's really muddy, a whole lot of gravel. This area is barricaded off, so you'd never see a space this raw inside a Major League Stadium, but I love that. So just one thing to consider is how I could possibly get a home run ball if it comes out to center field. Eight years ago when I was here, this was wide open. Now they got the barricades. But anyway, I am starving right now. I see a food stand over there, so time to get something to eat. Okay, just got a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna share with my cameraman. We got two chicken shish kebabs and some french fries, so let's take a look at what this is all about. All right, it's all wrapped up in the tin foil, and can you see it? Can you see it? Oh man, that's tiny. I think I'm gonna have to eat about seven of these. But yeah, it looks pretty good. third inning and both pitchers are in control. Jake Odorizzi for the Twins, Corey Kluber for the Indians. Each team only has one hit and there is no score. I am always tempted to wander around, but I think I'm going to hang tight for right now in the left field bleachers. Every seat in the stadium is full. Lots of hype for these games. Like I said, the stadium only holds about 18,000. So, I don't know, maybe tomorrow I'll go closer to home plate and check that out, but I think this is the spot for right now. This game is still scoreless, it's now the fourth inning, and I decided to transition over to the grandstand. It feels really dark here, for starters, and the lights out on the field are really not that bright, so it's got to be tough for the players. I see an official merchandise area if you want to look over here. So, I definitely want to pick up a t-shirt, a Puerto Rico series shirt, and then just kind of wander out into the seats, see what it looks like, maybe get close to a baseball or two, so come on. What do you think, does that fit me? Top of the ninth inning, Indians are on top six to one. And I'm here by myself on the third base side. You can kind of see where I'm sitting. My cameraman, Brandon, has been wandering on his own. I think he's behind the plate. He got some shots from there all the way at the back of the seating area. There have been some home runs tonight, four of them, all of which went to right field. So I guessed wrong in terms of where to start the game, but my location here paid off. Look what I just got. The ball that ended the eighth inning. It has a beautiful Puerto Rico series logo on it. It was a strikeout pitch by Andrew Miller. It was tossed around the infield. Jose Ramirez ended up with it, flipped it right to me. So I'm feeling great. And this game is almost done.
It's a final here at Hiram Bithorn Stadium in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And the story of the night was the Indians. They won this game 6-1. to one. And Corey Kluber, also the story of the night. He only allowed one run tonight, and he's clearly on his way to another Cy Young caliber season. Francisco Lindor, another story of the night. Native of Puerto Rico, got the scoring started tonight with the two-run homer in the fifth, and this place went nuts. Puerto Rico is so passionate about baseball. I feel like if this stadium could hold 118,000 fans, they would fill it up. Now as for me, I got five baseballs during batting practice, despite the fact that the Twins didn't even hit, so that's pretty cool. And then, as I mentioned just a little while ago, I got this commemorative Puerto Rico Series baseball, pitched by Andrew Miller, and it got tossed around the infield by the Indians players. Jose Ramirez was the guy who tossed it to me. Unfortunately, I don't have a shot of myself catching it, but who cares, I'm just really happy to have the ball itself. So I got six baseballs total today, gave away four of them, but all six count for my lifetime total. So that number is now 10,231. And man, I'm just excited to come back tomorrow and do it all over again. Thanks for watching, guys.